Good evening, family. I am your host, Infinite Child. And before the night ends, I have to give us this word. Amen. You guys, the enemy has been working and trying so, so hard to uh, direct your focus elsewhere. But we know God is good. The Father is faithful. Amen. And uh, a small, a slight situation had happened. And, you know, <clears throat> some things could, can be uh, overwhelming, right? But we know at all times we have to trust the Father. We have to trust the Father with everything and know that all things work together for our good. Amen. And so we call upon the Lord when we feel weary, or burdened, even overwhelmed or stressed out. <clears throat> because there are a lot of things that are going on. There are a lot of things that are going on. And, you know, I don't want to get too much into it but the father knows he knows and what's really important family i want you guys to catch this to understand this what's really important what's really really important is that we cannot we cannot allow any person does not matter who they are we cannot allow any person words to carry weight with you. Meaning, my nose is itchy. Meaning, what people think, what people say. How people get puffed up about things. What they think, what they say, how puffed up they get. And is directed towards you. Indirectly. When I say indirectly, it's because it's not face-to-face, -face and they don't hold that same energy when you face-to-face -face with them. What they think, what they say, what they do, their behavior, how puffed up they get. We cannot allow their words to affect us in any manner. Why? Because it's not truth, number one. Two, we have to love our enemies, and love people, love our neighbors as ourselves. Three, we don't repay evil with evil. Love overcomes all, right? Four, we know that it is the enemy that's yielding, working through them, right? And the enemy always wants a reaction, always wants a reaction and to take us off focus <clears throat> from what's really important, right? And so be encouraged, family. It does not matter. Okay, it does not matter from any area or wherever it's coming from, wherever it may be coming from. The enemy cannot hold any weight with you. We cannot let words affect us. Now, back then, I'm pretty sure most of us, you would feel some type of way. You would feel some type of way. And it, it can affect you mentally, emotionally. In your heart, just in your core, it, it, it can, you know, it, it used to affect you. But now we, we don't, we no longer walk in that, right? We, we, we serve the Lord in, with, with truth and spirit and in truth. And so that's what we stand upon. That's what's important. And, you know, God always give, gives us rest for our souls, rest for our bodies, rest on all sides. Glory be to God. And even rest from your enemies. And we know that what's going on with the other person has not anything to do with you. Does not have anything to do with you. And at times, the enemy tries to include a person or persons that are dear to you. Are dear to you. And that's why we always pray. We pray for the people that we love. We even pray for our enemies too. Right? We pray. And the Father always hides us in his shadow, right? He is our refuge, our shelter, and we are always protected, always in his presence. And we do not come away from the Father, right? And in the battlefields that we walk into, we are always with God, and he's beside us, and he leads us to still waters, amen? His rod and staff will comfort us in any situation, in any situation. 
And we always find strength to fight, fight the good fight with faith. And we wait upon the Lord. You know, we wait upon the Lord, even when it doesn't look like it. Even when it doesn't look like it, we wait. Glory be to God. And he renews our strength always. And so we pray, Father, that you protect us. And we know that you protect us because we are in your presence. And we draw near to you, Father God. And you help us draw near to you and strengthen us. You strengthen us when we go through these wrestling matches, the warfare. In Jesus Christ's name, we ask in prayer. And we declare and decree, family. We decree of the desires that the wicked has for our life, that they are derailed in Jesus' mighty name, and that we are protected on all sides. Glory be to God. And we declare that you are God, Father God, our strength in our lives. And you walk with us and you talk with us. And your rod and staff show comfort us. And you are the leader of our lives, Father God. And you lead us by still waters. Glory be to God. So you guys receive it in faith. And know that, know that the Lord will give us rest. On all sides and from your enemies. In Jesus' mighty name. In Jesus' mighty name. We declare and decree. We thank you, Father. So really quickly, we're going to read uh, from 1 Kings. 1 Kings. Um, Let's see. Let you know. Let's go to Psalms one forty-seven. Psalms one forty-seven. And feel free, family, to read. Go in your Bibles and to read. give you this quick word verse 14 verse 14 family says he makes peace in your borders and fills you with the finest wheat peace in your borders and fills us with the finest wheat Peace in your borders and fills you with the finest wheat. Now, I cannot articulate exactly what that means, but in my mind, well, I cannot lean on to my own understanding. But what I'm pressed to give you is that Regardless of what's going on in any situation, we find peace in God, in the word of God, and knowing that we are always protected, and knowing that the Father is here with us. And we are filled with the Spirit of God. We are filled with his word, and we act on his word, and we speak his word. God is everything. He is your source. He is everything, and all the things that the Father has is are the finest things. We can't even imagine, right? We can't even imagine all the things that the Father is able to do for us in and through us abundantly, right? So you guys be encouraged, be encouraged, and stand on the word of God. God is for you. God is with you. I love you all with the love of Christ.